so grateful to have you here we are so grateful to have you here on this channel we'll talk about relationship and life issues using cultural happenings to analyze and pick out lessons that we should learn and apply to our lives and our relationship where i give you insights and tips on how to make the best decision to move your life forward that's your relationship life and your life generally if you haven't subscribed please do well to subscribe to see multiple other analyses that are very very useful and that will help your relationship and your life okay all right this is also an interactive channel so commenting is allowed of course as long as you keep it respectful even youtube acts that we are civil about it so as much as possible let's do well to do that Today, we're going to talk about the lady who recently <laughs> said no to a man who proposed to her somewhere here in Nigeria, okay? So, there has been a video that has been making rounds on the internet where a lady who was proposed, whose, <laughs> whose boyfriend proposed to her was trying to she seemed well from the video she seemed a little bit surprised or should i say confused and yeah after a while she then now had to walk away first and then walked out and just let the guy sit in there and this is not even the first of such videos that make the internet where people are wondering you know what's going on the lady did not say yes what's happening and so on and so forth this is not the first it actually will not be the last and this is not to say because i was already seeing people in the comment section about on uh, this video that is going around say oh next time don't do your proposal in public do your proposal in private but that is why i am here to actually give the insights of what we should learn from this it's not about doing proposal in public or doing proposal in private here is what you should know. Number one, when you're in a relationship, you're in a relationship because you're going towards a destination. And that is where, in one of my videos recently, I spoke about that, about the importance of relationship education when you're going to get into an education. When you're going to get into a relationship, we get education for especially a lot of our work life. If you are a medical personnel, a nurse, a lawyer you, you get educated you try your best 
even if you're education if you're a broadcaster you try your best to get educated okay but then a lot of times when it comes to relationship people people are people behave as if the relationship manual basically that was given uh, that we need to thrive in a romantic relationship with a partner that we're going to spend most of our life with here on earth that should be the plan and that is the design was thrown with us specially and we don't need to get education for it the way we learned how to speak our languages and so on and so forth and it just doesn't make sense i'll say it again relationship education is very important if you're in a relationship and if in case you're watching this and you're wondering okay where do i get your relationship education said i've been hearing you talk about relationship education relationship education that's a good time to say you should check the description you know the link in the description link below this video and contact me and i will pick it up from there we have a whole school where we teach on relationship not course not even one book i have courses i have a book on relationship and books not even just a book books but i also have a school where you can also learn so you learn from the school the books and of course even one-on-one -on -one counseling with me as well but to continue with this particular case this is what we can learn from this you see when you're in a relationship you guys need to communicate the both of you need to really communicate with each other what happened why it looks like the lady was confused and the guy was not seated on the floor afterwards and the girl was is because they are not communicated on the destination of their relationship if they are communicated and if we interview them so this is not saying i'm not saying they have never so we don't be like oh um, we're assuming things of people that didn't say it no not at all and that's something that it's very important to me that we don't just go around who are just assuming things it's about if, if it's, it's possible that they've spoken about it once but not in a manner that actually sunk between the both of them sunk sunk sunk, sunk, sunk. anyways <laughs> actually sunk between the both of them so the girl knew she was in a relationship but maybe to her she did not feel like she wanted to get married and then the guy was thinking something else and that there was no the, these things are supposed to be driven home the fact that the girl even walked out from that proposal already questioned why she was in a relationship in the first place okay so one person had the agenda of marriage perhaps another person was having another agenda before you enter a relationship understand that the essence of a relationship is marriage the essence of a relationship is marriage and if you are thinking anything other than marriage then you should step back and think about it do not be pressured it's not by force to be in a relationship if you are not going towards the destination of marriage or if you are not wanting to get by don't waste another person's time sometimes we just do things to people what if it was done to you what if it was done to your brother? What if it was done to your mother? What if it was done to your father? Sometimes we don't think about what we do. We just do it and, you know, just as they go. And those are the kind of attitude that we need to stop. We can't have this as they go attitude. Those are not attitude that a person wanting to leave a legacy, you know, goes with or flows with. So before you get into a relationship, you must be sure that you're headed towards marriage. Now, not all relationship that you get into is going to work out, but at least having a destination when you get into the journey or when you get into the bus or when you get into the airplane of a relationship is very, very, is much more, is important, is sane, is necessary, rather than just boarding a plane or a bus and just going towards no destination. And when the boss is like, oh, this is where we are going, that's like, no, 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 I just want to come down in the middle of nowhere. And that is what played out here. Another thing that we can learn from this particular case is also the fact that maybe, maybe, okay, if these people come out to speak openly, we can do a, we can do a follow-up video. But maybe there are things that, it may also be that the girl have wanted to get married to this guy, but there are things that, or doesn't mind, but there are things that she needed him to work on that he hasn't worked on. Or vice versa, maybe things that she's trying to work on, um, she hasn't worked on. And 
they haven't had that follow-up conversation it's just like oh it's i don't know the exact day the proposal happened maybe it, it started flowing around this valentine season at the time of recording of this video it's just one day past valentine okay so if it started flowing around this valentine maybe it was valentine we just wanted to be like oh it's valentine oh let's just then let me do something nice for her and she's just like we have a lot of things <laughs> that we've not settled so do not feel like second point do not feel like because uh, do not feel like a romantic a, a romantic gesture should be able to cover up the work that needs to be done in your relationship it is nice to be kind to each other but there are some level of commitment that is not necessarily showing kindness you need to it's not even kind if you go ahead with it for example if the person is not meant for you and thirdly i must say that if it, it is courageous what that girl did because in that video a lot of people expected her to say yes that's just the regular thing say yes clean your face pretend act but then you know choosing to say hey you know and the, the manner in which she did it and we'll talk about that just shortly you know choosing to not pretend like oh wow i want to marry you maybe it's just one way to be like um something is wrong here however this is very important for us to know that there's a way we can manage it if you happen to be in that situation which is why you are watching this i do not expect that you should be in that situation because you are learning this so that you do not get into that situation if you get what i mean but there's a way you can manage it if you are there you're trying to get to know this guy and this guy just feel like oh it should be overly nice or it just feels like it's time for a wedding and it's just like we just started yesterday you you tell him to stand up you help him up you know you tell him we'll talk about this outside and the both of you make your exits okay we don't it's not a drama piece it's not it's not a, it's not something that's supposed to humiliate so you know all this oh the person walks away <laughs> I mean, even if you want to break up, you shouldn't be in that way and in that manner, okay? Because at the end of the day, the both of you are still human beings and the both of you are still valuable image in the sight of God. So it is important that you have that settled. And should you be a lady that finds yourself in that situation, clear this the scene, you know, get the guy out, both of you, because at that point, eyes are already on you inside, people are wondering, you don't need to say yes, so I'm not saying, oh, pre mm -mm. no, pretending to say yes, I mean, there's no need for that, because again, you'll just be lying, but you can say, oh, let's talk about this outside, smile, um, just pat him, hug him, or thank you for this kind, at least acknowledge it, the whole walking away to just makes the whole thing odd, all right, let me know what are the points that you would like to add to the analysis of this particular video and i do hope and believe that you've learned from today's tips and insights there are a thousand and one tips and insights when it comes to how you can upgrade your relationship and your life in general i will continue to pick up these lessons from analysis and of course question and answer videos that i will be doing again there are important information in the description below the video please do well to check it out subscribe welcome to the family subscribe and join us and of course share suggestions as well of the kind of videos you would like to see or even share tips or videos that may be flying around there like hey signal needs to analyze this please do well to like this video and of course share with your friends i will see you in the next video have a fantastic fantastic time ahead bye